Hey guys, Kenny here. I'm here to review the 2010 action drama thriller The Next Three Days. And I have to say that I really did love every performance in this movie. Really, everyone. Russell Crowe was fantastic. Elizabeth Banks was also fan uh, fantastic. Liam Neeson. He's in one scene, but he was incredible. Very, very good in that scene. Olivia Wilde shows up in this as well as a friend of Russell Crowe's character in this. And the basic story, it's, uh, this is another one that's pretty simple. Um... His wife gets arrested for uh, allegedly murdering a woman, and so she gets taken to prison. And he keeps working on trying to get her out, but the evidence ends up being too uh, convincing where the where the courts won't let her out. So. John Brennan. John, uh, Laura is the one who is his wife, and so John gets uh, gets it in his mind to break her out of prison. So the rest of the story is him trying to piece together a plan uh, before he actually puts it before he actually does it. And Damon Pennington, played by Liam Neeson, he's in one scene, but he have, have, has a very crucial part in the story, because he kind of coaches John about how to do this uh, breaking, breaking his wife out of prison. So, very simple, but it's, very, but it's a very effective story. And it's filled with a lot of emotion. <laughs> and the action, there's also quite a bit of action in it as well. <laughs> Elizabeth Banks was a phenomenal choice. I didn't know what to think about her at first, but as the movie went on, I started realizing that she was the right person for that role. So, <laughs> this was from Paul Haggis and I think he had, had I think he had done Crash yeah Crash so I had a really good feeling that the cast and the crew of the next three days would be in very capable hands with Paul Haggis and I was right. I didn't go in with very high expectations but I have been looking forward to seeing this so I was pretty pumped to see it and this movie met my expectations and exceeded them. All the acting was phenomenal in this. This is also a remake of a 19, a 2007 French film Poor L. Anything for Her by Fred Cavey. I didn't realize this was a remake. Huh. But it's a remake. And I've never seen that, but I have a really good feeling this movie, The Next Three Days, takes the themes and idea from Poor, poor Ellie, Poor L, however that's said, and runs and makes it even better. Uh, so, so I really, really did enjoy the next three days. This is one that I really highly recommend. Uh, the story is strong in my opinion. Some people probably don't really think it is, but to me, the story in this was very strong and I still remember it now. So, 
think that's all I have to say, so stay cool and roll out to the movies. Bye.